So we have been focusing on shading and we've been using a pencil to shade with. Um, but you can create values and shadows with a variety of tools, including a pen. And so in, um, we usually use a ballpoint pen. And that's, us that's what you have in your art kit. Um, I personally love a ballpoint pen because you can, once you get it going, you can treat it like a pencil where you can just go really light pressure and get those light values and then as you start to apply more pressure you can get a much darker value so I really love the pen the ballpoint pen for that reason um, there's all sorts of pens we have like gel pens and this one you can't do the light or dark light or hard pressure it's going to be solid um, ink no matter what except it might skip uh, and that's just because this is more of a liquid and then you have like brush what are called like brush pens um, this one is really nice because you can you can get really thin areas and you can get a side and so you can get like just different line quality to it um, some have more of a flexible tip where it like actually bends and then some have a harder tip um, so there's all sorts of different pens to create different kinds of values in this case when the line is thicker that's the shadow and when it's thinner that's your highlight um, or the side that has more light to it so th those are kind of some rules to um, play with but let's just look at the ballpoint pen um, there's different techniques you can use one is hatching and hatching is just simple lines and the rule is the closer together the lines are the darker the value is so you're going to create a value scale using these lines getting closer and closer together I like to start off um, spreading them out especially as they get closer to the darker values here because this dark value should be so close that it's nearly black. Now I don't want to just color it in and I don't want to scribble. I want to just draw my lines going in one direction. And in this one, I want to bring my lines close together, but not quite as close as the dark 100% value. And I think you need to go in and draw a few more lines. So I'm just going to go in and just draw a few more lines. Which means I might have to go in and darken up this one. and that is hatching. So hatching just the lines go in one direction. The next one I have here is stippling. I already went and did this because it just it's it takes a long time but it has a really good um, look to it and stippling just means you're shading with dots. 
So the fewer dots you have here, the lighter the value, and as the dots get closer, there's more and more and more and more and more dots. The closer they are together, the darker the value is. So you can see a difference between like the light value and the dark value, same here, light value, dark value. Cross hatching is um, the same thing as hatching, except it's the opposite direction, so I might start with just a few of my lines here so all it is it just means I do the same lines going the other direction the same spacing and I'm just bringing my lines close together Artists like to um, combine a lot of these often, sometimes they don't. It really depends on the artist and what their technique is. I'm going to stop there. And this last one is just, this one's for the ballpoint pen. Ooh, if I could spell. And this is just blending together. So I'm going to actually move this down a little bit. And it's just like shading with the pencil. So I'm going to just scribble a little bit, get my pen going. And I'm just going to do a very light value. And it's learning how to kind of control over your pen. This is a really great exercise because shading with your pen, especially when you're trying to use it like a pencil. It takes learning how to control your, control the pen, um, and learning how to control your values. Um, working in pen can be a little scary because there's no erasing, so you have to start off very light and slowly build up to dark. Um, you know, it's not as forgiving as our pen. I'm actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna do half of this box. Um, so I'm gonna start to get darker here. Drawing with pen can be a little scary and it can be really intimidating because there's no real way to erase it. Um, yeah, there is uh, whiteout, but whiteout looks really bad on an artwork, so you don't really want to do that. Working in pen, what it allows you to do is it, it allows you to start to problem solve. So if you do make a mistake, then you figure out a way to cover it up by... Um, drawing something new on top or making things darker so as you can see like I'm kind of going back and I'm fixing up my areas that got too dark like I'm too dark here which means I'm probably gonna have to darken up my light value here you know which isn't ideal but by making that darker then I have to make everything else darker because I can't go from light to dark to light when you're doing value scales you should always go from light to dark and you're just learning to control it and to learn how to fix so um, some of you who might like this method um, definitely practice it 
when we're working on um, drawing with pen or adding values with pen, these are different techniques. You can use a variety of techniques. You can do like a scribbling technique, you know, where it gets light, bigger scribbles lighter, and then tighter scribbles get darker. You can use words to create um, value as well, but um, we'll probably stick to just these for our assignments this summer.